Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Welcome back to New Directions Apostolic Ministry. We're glad you're here. We're glad you decided to stop by today. Amen. I hope that you had a blessed day today. I had a wonderful day. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord woke me up with scripture in my mind. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I thank him for it. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Because, you know, like, we're in the last days, y'all. We are in the last moments before the appearing of Jesus. Amen. You see, uh, we're going to talk about the doctrine of the rapture a little bit. Amen. Phase one. Amen. This is phase one. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We realize that the second coming of Jesus Christ is in is in two phases. Amen. Phase one, dealing with the rapture. Amen. Where we he takes us up to be where he is. Phase two is 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 when we come back with him. Amen. At the end of the tribulation period. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're dealing with phase one today, and I hope you're able to get something out of this lesson today. Amen. We're going to pray for those that are sick, those that are bereaved. Amen. I forget all the names, but if you got someone, drop it in the comment section, if you will. If you if you want, that's if you want. You don't have to, but we want to remember those that are bereaved. Amen. I told you about my, um, my um, childhood friend who passed away uh, last week, uh, you know, we want to pray for his family. We want to pray for the Gaither family. We want to pray for the um, the Canada and Espinosa family. Continue to pray for them and lift them up. Also, there is a, another family up northern in Northern California. My wife found out today that um, I believe it was this morning that um, well, you know, she found out this morning that her mother had passed away. So we want to pray for that family as well. Amen. Hallelujah. God knows. Amen. God knows, and he is a deliverer. He is a prayer answering God. That's Sister Karen Wright. Amen. Hallelujah. Her whose mother, yes, her mother passed away. Amen. So we are trusting God to answer our prayer. We're trusting God to deliver, to comfort his people. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Remember, Brother Tyrone Weldon, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And Sister Tammy's father, Tammy, um, uh, uh, man, man is father. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Remember the saints of God everywhere. All those that are called by the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All the wayward saints, Lord, all the backsliders, Lord. Just have your way, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for your kindness. We thank you, Lord God, for your for this opportunity to come before you, oh God. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing in our lives, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for your people, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for all those that are on this live today. We thank you, Lord God, for all those that will come to replay, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, and Lord God, you heard the names that went forth, Lord God. And those that I may have missed, Lord God, you know, Lord God, there is nothing that's hidden from you, Lord. I pray, Lord God, for those families, Lord God, that are bereaved, Lord God. God. I pray, Lord God, for those that are sick, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I pray for every pastor, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's preaching the unadulterated word of God. That's standing on your truth of your word, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, you will continue to grant them courage to preach your word, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Bless every congregation that's represented on this live today, Lord. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, as we come before you, Lord God, that you would open up our minds and our hearts and our understanding, Lord God, concerning your word, Lord God, that we might, hallelujah, receive it with all readiness, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, have your way, Lord God, in, in, in the people's lives, Lord God. Lord, remember the backsliders, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Have your way, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, have your way, Lord God, with your people, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to consider our ways, Lord God, hallelujah, knowing, Lord God, hallelujah, our redemption has drawn nigh. I pray, Lord God, for everyone, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that those, Lord God, who know you, Lord God, who haven't been acknowledging you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, those, like I said, who are wayward, Lord God, who are not, Lord God, walking in the Spirit, I pray for them, Lord God, that you would grant them repentance, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, I pray for every new saint, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. 
Help us, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to pay attention to your word, Lord God. Hallelujah, what you've given us, Lord God, to guide us and lead us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, in these last moments before your appearing. Lord God, to look to you, Lord God, the author and the finisher of our faith, Lord. Have your way, Lord God. We thank you. We praise you. We honor you, Lord God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Excuse me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is at the door, y'all. He's at the door. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's coming back for a church that has not spot, wrinkle, or any such things. That means we need to work on ourselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, that we might be ready. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Ah, excuse me. Thank you, Jesus. Let's look at this. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. End time prophecy. Amen. We're talking about the end times, the, the rapture, the doctrine of the rapture. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Pray for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. End time prophecy is one of the most talked about aspects of Bible of the Bible today. Amen. You look around. Amen. People are wondering what's going on. What is going on with all the stuff? Uh, I've been saying for for months now. I've never seen so many things happening all at once like this in my whole lifetime. Amen. All the signs that well, you know that that the Lord was said would be happening in our last few moments are happening right before our eyes right now. Amen. All around us. It's not just here in America. All around the globe, things are happening. Amen. At, 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 at rapid speed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Even our days are shortened, it seems like. You know, like, like it seemed like it was just a, a, mo a moment ago that I was on Sunday night. And then weeks go by like it's like crazy, you know. You be, you know, my wife and I would look and we sit around and think, and we'd be talking and stuff. And and man, and she'll say like, "Wasn't we just? Wasn't it last week? We were, you know. It's like just like time just goes. You know, God is at the door. Amen. He says, he says here, people everywhere are turning to the scriptures for a key to the perplexing. Amen. State of our planet. Amen. It's very perplexing. Amen. They don't know. They don't have answers. All kind of stuff is happening in our face, and you know, people are are cram, trying to cram things in our face. Well, the Lord said it would be like that. Amen. Amen. People don't want to be called this or that anymore. They want to. They made up new names for themselves, or, or you know, or titles, whatever. You know, look, the Lord is at the door. Amen. 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 He has the answers. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, they want answers. To the violence, right? There's violence. Every time I turn around, I have this little news app on my phone, and every time there's never any good news that comes forth on that on that little thing. It's always somebody just got shot. Somebody just died. And, and it's always die dying at the hands of another. Amen. It seems like more than ever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And then you got you know the abortion thing and all that, and they, and they just dropping, they just, and then others are just dropping like flies. So there's this violence, amen. Violence has filled the land, amen. There is a social uh, disintegration, amen. Our society socially is disintegrating, amen, amen. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. The things that 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 how we used to enjoy one another, being around one another years back. I was looking at some 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 pictures that I had taken of the Brotherhood Retreat the last few few years that I had went with Peace Apostolic and the Brotherhood Retreats. I took pictures and I see all the brothers with their hands raised and shouting and praising God and everything like that. Now it's like times we're in, we can hardly ever get anyone together. Amen without being mad, without being just all kind of stuff going on. Amen. God, he's looking for us to be one as he is one. But yet there's this disintegration going on, not only in the in the world, but also in the church. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So the Lord 
is at the door. Amen. Political unrest. Amen. Political unrest. You know, you, you want to vote and you to do your civic duty, but then you know that the system is not correct, is not straight like it should be. Amen. But I urge you on this. If you go to vote, take your Bible with you. Amen. There is a website called uh, 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 Biblical Voting. Amen. Check out what the scriptures has to say, you know, if you're unfamiliar. Amen. The political unrest, you know, famine, you know, we thought it was in third world countries. Now that has spread abroad. Amen. Hallelujah. Even here in our own country. Amen. Famine is in the land. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But he keeps uh, 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 providing for his children. Amen. And all those, God will provide for all those who will look to him. Amen. We're not special people. Amen. We're not, you know, of, of such that he will only take care of us. If you have faith and you will call on his name, God still answers prayer. Amen. He will answer your prayer. He will feed you. He will, he will supply your needs. Amen. According to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So all you need to do as an unbeliever is to turn to Jesus. Amen. You want help? Turn to him. Amen. Ecological problems all around. The ecology, everything is just out of, out of, out of control. Amen. Uh, all these things that continue to plague the world today. Amen. Yeah, so all these things, all right? Unprecedented fear grips men worldwide. Amen. Men and women worldwide, they're, they are living in fear. Hallelujah. Fear, afraid to go outside, afraid to, to, to drive in the car without uh, 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 a diaper or whatever, as someone said. Covering everything, you know, afraid to 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 pull up to the car that's in front of them, right? Just I don't know. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. Afraid. Fear has gripped the land. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Especially because each new year now brings with it um, the ominous uh, 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 prospect of nuclear holocaust. Amen. Wars and war, wars, amen. War against, you know, nations rising against nations, amen. Kingdom against kingdoms, amen. We are at all, it's, it's crazy. Look around, around, like I said in news a few minutes ago, our, sometimes even families are at war with one another, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. The Lord is really concerned about his people. The Lord wants us, if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, you need to repent. Hallelujah. You need to forgive. Hallelujah. Forgive your brother or your sister. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Lord wrote me up with Matthew uh, chapter number 18, verse number 21, in my spirit this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where Peter asked, Lord, uh, Lord, how often shall we forgive one another? And Jesus' response to that was, 70 times 7. Amen. That's how often in a day, right? Hallelujah. You forgive that individual, no matter what they did, forgive them. God will bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got forgiveness coming if you forgive others. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But 70 times 7? Hallelujah. That's a lesson in that for another day. But just think about that. 490 times do you forgive that one who offends you or trespasses against you today? Tomorrow starts a new day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're not to wait to, to put off to tomorrow what we can do today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's been on my mind a lot. Hallelujah. A lot of things that we have, we have uh, uh, gotten away from. Because of disfellowship, because of not being able to go to the house of God and, and embrace one another like they did. You look at uh, Psalm 133, hallelujah, behold and how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity, hallelujah. 
God wants us to, to be walking in unity, to dwell together in unity. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So all these things, Luke had just put a scripture in the comment section, St. Matthew chapter 24, verses 21 and 22. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him till seven times. And Jesus said unto him, I say not unto, unto thee until seven times, but unto seventy times seven. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord wants us to walk in, in unity, walk in love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How can we say we love God and we who we don't see and we don't love our brothers and sisters who we see every day? Hallelujah. How is that? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I, I perceive that many won't be ready for the rapture when the Lord comes. Hallelujah. Some may even have their own personal rapture and leave here having, having squandered time to get things right. You know, putting things off to tomorrow, putting things off, hallelujah, and then they then they expire. And then it's too late. The Lord wants us to be ready. He he has he wants us to make ourselves ready. That's it, Luca. I, I, that's what I said, 18, 21, and 22. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This makes present conflicts between nations deadlier. Uh-huh than any other time in the world's history right now because people are anxious, amen. They're, they're, they're very, they're, you know, with all the, the pressures of life, with all the that's going on now, people just, they, they just want to push that button, push that button, amen, amen. But because of all the hatred, I've never seen so much hatred in all my days. Never, hallelujah, so much hatred. Hallelujah. Right there, and it's blaring in our eyes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Nobody wants to get along with anybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's just me and Luca. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I told her a little while ago, that's all we need. Because she said, she said, yeah, yeah. I said, it's just, she, it's just me and Luca. And, and, and then, and then, and, 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 and so on, you know. But she said, we, we have Jesus. And I said, that's all we need. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, Pastor, Pastor Johnson. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so as we go on, First Thessalonians chapter number 4, verse number 13. But I will not have you to be ignorant. He doesn't want you to be uninformed. Amen. He, you know, in the Bible, you know, lets us know that all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. Amen. And it's profitable. You can, you can, you can, you, you know, it's profitable to you. Amen. You can trust God's word. Hallelujah. He doesn't want you to be ignorant concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. Amen. There are a lot of people in this world who do not have hope. He does not want the church sorrowing like the rest of the people who have no hope. We have hope beyond the grave. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I may, thank you, Jesus. I, I, I'll just give you what I got. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Uh, uh, verse number 14, for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. All those who were baptized in his name, filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost, amen, who have went to sleep. The world, you know, sinners die. Saints go to sleep. Amen. Those who, have, who are asleep in Jesus will God bring with him at that time, amen, when he comes to, 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 to catch away his bride, amen. Uh, verse number 15, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Amen. We're not going before them. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. 
the, and the dead shall dead in Christ shall rise first. So all those who have went before us, all those who are there already, Amen. They're not in the in the in the in that secret place in that be, you know that place because we all go there together, but they're with Him already, Amen. In paradise, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Then we which are alive and remain shall be, shall be shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Amen. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He, then he goes on to say, Wherefore, in light of all that you just read, comfort one another with these words. This is what we should be talking about. Comforting one another, let them know that the Lord shall descend. The Lord's going to descend from heaven with a shout, right? Is it, you know, that's what we ought to be preaching. That's what we ought to be teaching. Amen. We want people to be ready. You've got to preach holiness. Amen. Because he's not, you, you, you have to be in, a, in, in the right state. Amen. With God when he comes. Amen. When he comes for you. Amen. You must be walking in holiness. Amen. Trusting in him depending on him, even looking for him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. The word uh, uh, rapture is not in the scriptures, but we what we have from the word caught up, amen, it, it comes from the Greek word harpazo, to seize upon, spoil, snatch away. Literally seize upon with force to rob, right? Differing from klepto, right? Klepto is to steal secretly. Amen. You know what a klepto, you've heard of kleptomaniacs. They come around and stealing your stuff without you knowing about it. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Look at this worldly system, how it sneaks and just takes, you know, you know. And where where did all my money go? Uh the klepto. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. One Greek scholar says further that the word often denotes the emotion of a sudden swoop. Amen. The emotion of a sudden swoop. And usually that of a force which cannot be resisted. When the Lord comes and snatches us out, you won't even be able to, re if you, come on, that's crazy. That idea right there is crazy. It cannot be resisted. Hallelujah. The force that he's going to take us with. There's no like, oh, oh wait, wait, no, it's, it's, it's over. It's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's time to go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm looking around. It's a whole lot of, I'm, I'm not looking, you know, at the world. I'm looking at the, at, 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 at the church. The saints, a lot of saints are not ready to go. Hallelujah. We need to be make the bride, the Bible says the bride has made herself ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's, he's equipped us with all the tools necessary for us to make sure that we are meeting everything that Word of God says. That's why I keep saying, according to uh, uh, um, um, uh, spirit, uh, uh, realigning ourselves, we must realign ourselves, our heart, realign our hearts with Father God. Amen. By way of the Word of God, the Word of God helps us to realign our hearts. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We are not what we should be in and of by ourselves. Amen. It takes the Word of God working in us. Hallelujah. As we read the Word of God and it begins to work in us, changing that heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Changing our minds, changing the way we think. Hallelujah. Think, changing the way we look at things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to be ready, saints. He's left it for you, hallelujah, to get yourself ready, hallelujah, hallelujah. You can't get ready on flowery messages either, either. amen. You got to hear the unadulterated word of God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. From the, just, just, just read the scriptures, hallelujah, hallelujah. Try reading the scriptures. As I, as I read to 
now, even for a while now, as I read the scriptures, just reading the word of God, it just breaks me down. Hallelujah. It penetrates my heart. Hallelujah. Causes me to weep. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us consider what it, what it is. Hallelujah. Why it will happen. Amen. The rapture. When? Will it take place? And whom, hallelujah, it will affect. Thank you, Jesus. The second coming of Christ is a major Bible prophecy. It's major. Amen. We've been treating it like it's minor. Hallelujah. That it doesn't matter. You just leave it to chance. I beg to differ. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. We should be, hallelujah, it's not a small thing. This is everything for the, for the saint of God. This is everything we've been looking forward to, hallelujah. Why even go to church if you're not going to be looking for the rapture, looking for the Lord to return, hallelujah. Why, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ha, Shabbat. Somebody take a lap for me in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel like running. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's a major Bible prophecy. Thank you, Jesus. What is the second coming of Christ? It is important to understand that Christ, his coming is twofold. Hallelujah. I mentioned in, in the beginning, twofold. First, he will come for the church. Amen. He comes for the church first. Amen. That's the two phases. Oh, phase one, he comes for the church. This is, uh, this is really the, the core of the rapture doctrine. Amen. First Thessalonians chapter number, back to verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up, shall be, it, it, that is going to happen, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So God brings them with them. They, they descend, those who have passed away, they, in the Lord, they descend with him. They come down and then we are caught up and we meet them in the air Amen. And then we go back with the Lord. What a wonderful thing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's why we need to be getting along right now. Hallelujah. We don't need to be divided like we are right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We need to be walking in unity right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So I, I, I mentioned earlier, I looked back at those pictures and I saw all the brothers just saw all together, all these brothers, all these brothers. Hallelujah. And I begin to look through and to see how many are still, hallelujah, embracing one another. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Those retreats wasn't just for that time. Hallelujah. Those things were binding us together. Hallelujah. 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 There's no sense in going on a retreat if you can't get together in unity. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you can't walk together, how can two walk together except they be agreed? Hallelujah. We must agree. We may disagree on other issues, but we must agree on the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God's promises to us. We must agree upon that. Hallelujah. How to deal with things. Hallelujah. How do we straighten out confusion? How do we, how do we, how do we, you know, when, when, when one offends another? How, what do we, the scripture has a prescription for that. Hallelujah. We need to follow the prescription of the word of God. Hallelujah. And work that thing out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling y'all, hallelujah. We only get one time through here. One time. Hallelujah. I go to prepare a place for you. Matthew, I mean, John 14 and 1. I go to a, prepare a place. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe God, believe also in me. Hallelujah. You Don't let your heart be troubled. You believe God. He said, Jesus said, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. 
Hallelujah. And if I go and prepare a place, hallelujah, if I go, hallelujah, I will come again. I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Thank you, Jesus. Don't give up. Keep looking for him. Don't give up. Don't stop believing him. Hallelujah. God is true. He's faithful to his promises. Hallelujah. Look back over your life. If you have the Holy Ghost, look back over your how? Over your life. Hallelujah. Even those without the Holy Ghost, look back over your life. How God has been faithful. Even though we weren't always faithful, God has always remained faithful to us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's been so merciful. We wake up every day with new mercies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, now, you guys got to forgive me. Hallelujah. Have, pray for me. Hallelujah. I can't stop. I can't stop. I won't stop. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said, now he's going to receive us. Until, so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep, keep trusting him. Acts chapter number 1, verse number 11, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, this is right after the ascension of Jesus. The apostles are standing around looking up. The angel said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand you here gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner. He was taken up in the clouds. He's coming back in the clouds. Thank you, Jesus. He's coming back in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. Thank you, Jesus. He's coming back. Hallelujah. They looked for him. They were constantly looking, looking for the Lord to come back in their own lifetime. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And here we are. We've put, we, in many cases, placed it on the back burner. We're not even talking about it anymore. Hallelujah. A pre-trip rapture, you hardly ever hear the message anymore. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ha We need to hear it. Hallelujah. You can't have trust in it or you can't believe it if you never heard it. Hallelujah. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians chapter 1, verse number 9. For they themselves show us show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you and how ye turned from your idols to serve the living and true God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You turned. I talked about repentance the last three weeks. You turned. Hallelujah. You need to turn from your sins. Hallelujah. If you've gotten caught up in anything, since many of you have been out of church so long, the last three years or so, two years or so, if you've picked up some old habits, you need to drop those things. You need to turn to God, hallelujah, from your idols. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. One in ten. And to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus. Which, del which delivered us from the wrath to come. Amen. In the tribulation period, God's going to pour out his wrath on the nations. This verse here lets us know that he has delivered us from the wrath to come. Thank you, Jesus. So how can we be there in the tribulation? If he's delivered us from the wrath to come. If we had asked a Thessalonian Christian what he was waiting for, what would have been his reply? Would he have said, I'm waiting for the world to improve by means of the gospel that I myself have received. Amen. Or, I'm waiting for the moment of my death when I shall go to be with Jesus. No. His reply would have been simply this. I'm waiting for the Son of God from heaven. Amen. I'm waiting. 
They were looking for Jesus to come. Amen. This and nothing else is the proper hope of the Christian. Amen. This is the proper hope. Looking and waiting for Jesus. Hallelujah. That's the proper hope. Paul closed each of, 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 of these uh, 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 four, uh, uh, four chapters in this book in, of Thessalonians with the thought of this blessed hope. For what is our hope? our joy, or our crown of rejoicing. What is it? Chapter 2, verse 19. For what is our hope, our joy, or crown of rejoicing? Are not even ye in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming? That's what we're hoping for. Don't lose hope. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Keep trusting and looking for the Lord Jesus to appear with outstretched necks. Hallelujah. As, he, as Paul brings out in Titus, chapter number 2, verse number 11 through 13, or 14 or 15. Amen. We, this is in here. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Looking for him. You must be excited about his appearing. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Nowadays, the world is pushing all kinds of things for the saints. Not, well, you know, they push it. You know, for the world, but the saints are being, you know, caught up in that in that push. Amen. Excited about all the all the things that's coming, new technology, all this kind of stuff. Amen. I'm ready to go. Hallelujah. I'm ready to go. Thank you, Lord. Chapter three, verse twelve. And the Lord make you increase and abound. Make you increase and abound in love one toward another. Amen. We need to get back to real love. Hallelujah. If we align, if each and every one of us realign ourselves up, our hearts up with the word of God, with our father God, amen, we will love one another like we're supposed to. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm excited, y'all. Love. This word abound means to grow. Abound in, in, in love one toward another and toward all men. Amen. Even as we do toward you. Thank you, Jesus. Love one another. Amen. If you really love somebody, you're not going to be holding grudges against them. Amen. You're going to forgive them. Hallelujah. As Jesus said, Seventy times seven in a day. Can you imagine that? 490 times. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 13. To the end, he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before God. He wants to establish our hearts unblameable in holiness. Amen. If you got some stuff going on, you might want to straighten that thing out before this live ends today. Amen. Before it ends. Hallelujah. You know that your, your, your next breath is not promised to you. We're trusting God for every breath we take. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why are we waiting till later? I'm just going to sit here and wait till they come to me. Forget that. Hallelujah. Forget that. Straighten that thing out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Drop it, y'all. You need to drop it and go back and embrace, forgive, and get over it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is at the door. Hallelujah. The Lord is at the door. Thank you, Jesus. He says, let me start at the beginning. To the end, he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before God, even our Father, at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his saints. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That spoke of the second phase. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, because we come back with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you have to have went to him in the first place in order to be able to come back with him. Hallelujah. You can't come back with somebody that you haven't first left to go with in the first place. Hallelujah. You first have to leave to go with them, and then you can come back with, when they, when they, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord, and, 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 and the very God of peace sanctify you holy. That means all of you sanctify you holy. All holy. You can't like have secret chambers in your heart, hiding stuff here. And I, I, Got to let it all go. Let it all go. Lay aside every weight in the sin with us so easily beset you. Lay it aside. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I pray, God, your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Your spirit, soul, and body preserved blameless. Hallelujah. First John chapter number three, verse number two. Beloved, now. It's not later that we become sons of God. We're sons of God right now. He says, now are we the sons of God. And it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We shall be like him. That's what we're striving for now, according to Romans chapter number 8, verse 29, he, that we be, you know, be, be made into the image of his dear son. Thank you, Jesus. I must be like Jesus. Hallelujah. I must be like Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And you could have added verse 3 and 4 to that, Luca. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Because it's all by faith. Amen. This walk is by faith. I'm referring back to Hebrews chapter number 12. One, one, one two, three, four. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. He's merciful. Amen. We shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. How? And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth, continues, right? That uh, ETH at the end of a word, it, it, it means continuation. So if you have this hope in you, you're going to purify yourself. Because that's what he's saying here. Everyone, every man that hath this hope in him purifieth, himself, even as he is pure. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord has left us with great responsibility, y'all. Amen. We've been talking about discipleship for the last over a year now. Amen. Amen. It's about discipleship. Amen. Becoming like Jesus. Amen. Amen. And we go out and do what Jesus did in, a, in, in, in this world today. We go out in the name of Jesus, and do what Jesus did. Hallelujah. You know the Great Commission, Mark 16, amen, 15 through 18, hallelujah. Matthew chapter number 28, amen, verses 15 through 20, or, uh, yeah, 20, yeah, yeah, look at it, check it again, amen, Luke, amen, told you to go and wait in Jerusalem till you be endued with power from on high, God is still giving out the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. If you're lacking the Holy Ghost, God, he's still giving out the Holy Ghost. Amen. We're still in the church dispensation that started on the day of Pentecost. Amen. Which we, we you know, this past Sunday was the day of, you know, what they set aside as the day of Pentecost. Amen. We need to, to have his spirit. We, may, we must be partakers of his divine nature. Amen. According to 2 uh, Peter chapter number 1. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you're not ready to exit this planet yet. 
but you don't have to wait for it any longer. Just ask the Lord for the Holy Ghost. After you repent, turn from your sins. Turn to God. Hallelujah. You can receive the Holy Ghost as I speak. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. From this scripture passage, we learn that the Christian's hope is a purifying hope. In other words, if we truly believe that Jesus is coming again, we will walk in holiness before him until we see him face to face. Amen. If you truly believe. Thank you, Jesus. I could see you walking contrary if you don't believe it, you know. I, you know, I understand, you know. But if you name the name of Christ and you, you know, you got to truly believe it. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. Again, thank you, Jesus. We are not to look for a, uh, a great tribulation to come upon us, but we are to look for Jesus to come for his saints. Amen. That's what we're looking for. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hebrews chapter number 9, verse 28. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him, right? You got to be looking for him. Shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Our salvation, you know, for those who have been born again, it started once upon a time in our lives. Amen. For me, I got the Holy Ghost while I was baptized a Sunday after Christmas in 1981. I received the Holy Ghost with the sign of speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God give utterance on January 1st, 1982, about 1230 in the morning. Amen. So from that point on, that was the start of my walk with God, the start of my salvation. Right now, continue, continuing to walk with him, right? I am being saved. So, saved to start. I'm being saved right now because I'm allowing God's word to wash me. Amen. And I'm purifying myself, right, by way of his word, washing me. Then there's coming a time when he comes to get us. I will be saved. Thank you, Jesus. The conclusion of the whole matter. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The fulfillment of all that he has already started. Amen. So we're saved, we're being saved, and we will be saved. Thank you, Jesus. Salvation is a process, y'all. And you must be an active participant in that process. The things that are in, in your life that's operating in your spirit, they're not just going to stop just because you're saved now. You're going to realize that after you get saved, all kind of stuff start coming. I'm telling y'all, you know, I got victory, you know, but uh, that a couple of weeks ago, I, 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 uh, the, I think that the, the, uh, one of the, the last messages I did on the disciplines, I believe it was um, submission. Was it submission? Put it in the comment section if you remember. I'm having a senior moment right now. But that message, you know, I was tried the very next day. Actually, the next day? No, Wednesday. So, yeah, so so Tuesday, it, must, it was a Tuesday night, I think. So then that next day, I got up, got ready, and, it, you know, I, you know, it was all, all over a parking space in front of my house. And I wanted to park there. My wife said, uh-oh, they already got that spot already. And this guy, you know, he does, I don't know, where, I don't know why, he, why he's got a parking lot of my uh, you know, All that, you know, it was like all that. It's not mine. And that's that thing, you know, because in that lesson, it talked about us uh, being worked up over, over stuff, you know. And, you know, that, you know it's, 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 it's like, just being worked up over stuff that don't really mean anything, right? That thing tried the Lord, you know. The adversary came at, at me the next morning. And it, 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 it when she said that, uh, submission, that's right. 
Yeah. So yeah, the lesson on submission. I said, oh. And then that day, it was the devil kept bringing to my mind. Why, why don't you, you know, do something to his car? Why don't you, devil? You a liar. It's just a parking spot. Why are we worked up over parking spots? Why are we worked up when, when, when someone changes lanes in front of us, right? Why are we worked up because someone leave us, leaves your ministry? Why are you all worked up about that? Amen. Why are we all worked up over all these small things? That's the devil. And then when you take a closer look at Scripture, especially the Great Commission, and Jesus talked about what we should be doing as far as Mark chapter number 16, verse number 16, you know, and, and going on, and, and, and these signs shall follow them that believe. What's the first thing mentioned there? Somebody put that in the comment section. What is the first thing mentioned that's in that, in, in that dialogue that we should be doing? Look at it. Mark chapter number 16 in the Great Commission. And then ask yourself, are we doing that? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Ask yourself that. God revealed the mystery of Jesus' second coming for his saints to the apostles. And it is not to be confused with the second aspect or the second phase of the second coming, right? When he comes with his saints. Don't be confused. Amen. The rapture-ready saints are those who have judged themselves by the word of God and have the life of Christ abiding in them. Thank you, Jesus. The life of Christ abiding in them. Amen. I just did a new button here. Oh, it doesn't show. All right. I was going to... That's it. Pastor Donaldson, the first thing mentioned in St. Matthew, St. Mark chapter number 16, verse, you know, when he, in the Great Commission, these signs shall follow them that believe. The first one mentioned is they shall cast out devils. Then they shall speak with new tongues. Amen. When was the last time? Last time you, 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 you know, so, hey, that's what it's about. That is what it is about. Fulfilling God's word in our lives, living by the word of God, abiding in them. Amen. Abiding in him. Thank you, Jesus. And, and, and trusting him as we go. Thank you, Jesus. Titus chapter number two. I'm coming to a close, I believe. Titus chapter number two, verse number 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. The grace of God. Teaching us. So Jesus is that grace teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust. See, you can't deny these things if it's not preached. Amen. How do we expect the new converts to convert to be transformed by the renewing of their mind if we're not preaching and teaching this doctrine to them? Amen. Not just this doctrine, but doctrine. New Testament, epistles. The epistles give us instructions on how we must live. And if it's not taught, they can't believe on it. If it's not preached, they cannot believe on it. They cannot get, you know, when, you know, I learned something about teaching and different things, you know, so teaching and, and preaching. Preaching comes with such forth, force, amen, and, and, and exhorting, it comes with such force, it causes the listeners to, they're inspired to change, to do, to respond to the preaching. Amen. So it's important that you're preaching the right thing. Amen. So when they hear it, they get excited, and they want to do what you're asking them to do in your message. Amen. Teaching, on the other hand, is where you, we, we, we settle down, and we, we, we learn. We take this yoke upon him, us, and he take his yoke upon us and learn of him. Amen. We learn the word of God 
and, and, and that's what established, that's what settles us. Amen. That's what helps us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Maria. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 and 5. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Our weapons, they are not carnal, but they are mighty. That verse of scripture I was listening to, hallelujah, a few hours ago. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. They're, I, I, this is a spiritual warfare that we're in. You can't fight this warfare with carnal devices. With your, 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 your pistols and your shotguns and all that crap. You must fight this spiritual warfare with the tools that God has left for us to fight with. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Put on the whole armor of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But it goes on to say, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Those strongholds are things that are in you. That's in your mind, that's working in you, right? Those strongholds. He says, pulling down the strongholds, right? Hallelujah. Casting down imaginations and every high thing, right, that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Those thoughts come to your mind, it's exalting yourself against the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. But it's, it's only coming to you because apparently you got something working in there that it's appealing to. That, those strongholds, need, we need to get rid of those strongholds. There are things going on in our lives. We need to confess and, and forsake that thing. Get rid of that thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cast it. Strongholds, you don't cast out strongholds. You pull down strongholds. Hallelujah. Pulling them down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me finish that verse. Uh, that is that the soul of these things is all itself against the knowledge of God, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So you can't let your thoughts wander and just go and be just willy nilly. You got to uh, 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 grab that thing, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. When it comes to mind, rebuke it right then. Devil, you a liar. In the name of Jesus. The other morning, I was, uh, it, it, uh, I don't know, it was one day after something happened, I forget what, it was over the weekend, I think, and the message came forth, and so I was, I, I was dealing with the message, and then the next day, I was telling my wife when she got home, I said, it's been a fight today. The devil kept bombarding my mind with stuff, with junk. Hallelujah, he just kept coming. Why don't you do this? Oh, you know, why don't you just do this? You can make it. No. Oh, no, I, devil, you're a liar. Devil, you're a liar. But then the Bible says in James chapter number four that we must submit ourselves to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Amen. You must submit to God first. Resist the devil. He'll, he'll, he'll be gone. Thank you, Jesus. We need to follow the word of God. Hallelujah. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me go. I don't want to keep you all too long. All right. I'm almost there. All right. Here it is. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. That's what we're looking for, saints. That blessed hope. We're looking. We're in this world. This world's got a lot going on, but it's not for us. We're looking for Jesus. And if you're looking for him, I mean, as we read in Hebrews chapter number nine, uh, we must be looking for him. To those who look for him shall he appear. If you're not looking for him, perhaps you may not see him. Amen. You be the judge of that. Who gave himself for us that we might redeem, that he might redeem us from all iniquity. He wants to redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. You must be excited, zealous about good works. Amen. 
excuse me, good works. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is good, y'all. He's good. These things speak and exhort. So let's talk about it. Speak it. And exhort. Be excited about when you're telling some of, some of you know, there's like, 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 like my man Donaldson and my man Ibn, you know, and, and, and others that are out there. Um, I'm only speaking to the ones that are on, on this live today uh, who are out there preaching the unadulterated God, word of God and they speak it, they preach it with excitement and, 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 and it makes you want to just, just, hallelujah, give it. Okay, Lord, I surrender. It makes people want to respond right now. So he said, not only speak these things, but exhort, encourage, and rebuke. Hallelujah. Don't leave that out. Rebuke with all authority. We have the authority to use the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. To rebuke those unclean, foul spirits in the name of Jesus. He said, let no man despise thee. Hallelujah. Don't let them despise you. Hallelujah. Rebuke them. Hallelujah. Anything that's trying to get you to go against the will of God, rebuke that thing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We have the authority. He has given us power of attorney to operate over his estate, the church. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Let's speak these things. Let's, let's exhort, you know, the people of God and rebuke all with all authority. Don't let nobody despise you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That is for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for all that we've heard, Lord God. We thank you for the word that has come forth, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, you would have your way in our midst, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, you would just bless your people, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, bless your people, Lord. Help us to look for your soon appearing, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, remember the names that were called out at the beginning of the broadcast and all those that were may have been placed in the comment section. I pray, Lord God, for all your people, Lord, all the families of your people, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, all the congregations of your people, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And help us, Lord God, in these last moments to get it right. Come back together in unity, forgiving one another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Forgiving one another as you have forgiven the church, Lord. And you have given yourself for it. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord God, in these last moments. Perhaps there's somebody out there who don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sins. There's room at the cross. There is still room for you. Amen. There is still time. You need to come while you have the chance. Hallelujah. You need to come, hallelujah, while you have the chance. Amen. Amen. If you, if, if you haven't been baptized in Jesus' name, Hallelujah. The Bible lets us know you must be born again of the water and of the Spirit, according to St. John chapter number 3, verse number 5. Born again of water and Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And that, and that water baptism is in the name of Jesus for the remission of, of your sins. And the Bible says you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, according to Acts chapter number 2, verse number 38. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The Holy Ghost, when you receive the Holy Ghost, you will speak in tongues as the Spirit of God give utterance, according to Acts chapter number 2, verse number 4. Amen. You must be born again. Don't leave it to chance. Amen. Don't leave it. Uh, just uh, don't doubt God. Hallelujah. The Word of God is true. Amen. Listen to it. Amen. Live by it. Amen. You can be baptized if you don't uh, know a place to go and be baptized in Jesus' name. Direct me, uh, message me, you know, Elder Odom, amen. Hallelujah, I'm on Facebook, amen. You see my um, uh, things here? Contact me. I'll get you in touch with some place where you can be baptized in Jesus' name. And as I said on Sunday night, my wife, when she got the Holy Ghost, she got it at home in her bedroom. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Wherever you are at the moment when you truly repent, turn Surrender to turn from your sins, surrender to the will of God. Hallelujah. You will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Ask the Lord. It's a gift. All you have to do is ask for it. Amen. According to St. Luke, 
Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I think chapter number 9, verse 11 through 13, I believe that is. So if you ask the Lord for the Holy Ghost, he'll give it to you. Amen. That can happen whenever you're ready to surrender. You must surrender your will for his. Amen. All right. God bless you. God keep you as our prayer. Amen. Again, I thank each and every one of you for your continued support to this ministry. Amen. We really thank you guys. Amen. The Lord is good and he keeps doing great things for us. Amen. I did something here, but then it, it, this particular, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just follow us on, on um, New Direction Apostolic Ministries on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Podbean. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We need God's word all the time. All the time. Amen. God bless you. God keep you is our prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. See you now.